So, hello, hello, this is Max Strong. Welcome back to a Let's Play series of Jakusa. Uh, we are in episode 7 of the series already. Uh, currently, I love it. Um, we're in chapter 4, The Dragon of Yokohama. Um, we got a new app in our phone called the Sujidex, just to gather Sujimons, <laughs> which is actually whoever we are playing with and whoever we are battle with, uh, we're going to have a, a record. And we have to find 252 of them. Um, in Yokohama, at the moment, the map is not, not all revealed for us. Plenty to do. And we are kind of seven hours in, eight hours in. Um, so yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love Japanese comedy. I love Japanese storytelling. And I love Japan, actually, in, in the way they, they behave in certain aspects that they don't give a fuck about the rest of the world. Um, and they usually do whatever they want. So that's fine. And yes, if you do so, if you like it, actually, like me, actually, let me know in the comments below what you want to see. How do you want me to play actually the game? I usually play 100%, so I'm trying to do most of the things and uh, trying to get up most of the stories and side quests and everything. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know and like the videos and subscribe to the channel. Um, so I uh, appreciate the support actually to grow the channel. Um, so yeah, let's continue. Uh, we are going, I think, Ready there at the cafe just to actually get our next quest so i'm gonna mute the mic and just in case of uh, noise around me um, and interject actually whenever something uh, happened and we need to we need to recover a cop actually 132 22 um so yeah all good let's go for it Dan, it's full. Hey, look over there. That's Nanaha. Let's get some answers out of her. I seriously doubt she'd ever admit to it. We should only interrogate her after we have proof. I say we trust the former detective on this one. Fine. Sorry, we're full right now. Oh. I'm meeting someone inside. He's sitting down with Nanoha. Maybe she's dating him on the side. Could be. Let's try an eavesdrop on their conversation. How do we do that? Can't hear anything out here. I got this. Kasuga, call me on your phone. Okay. I'm very sorry, but we're full right now. Oh, please, can I just use the bathroom? Oh, seriously, man, I'm about to piss myself. Uh, sure. Go ahead. Sorry you had to come all the way out here. See the transaction go down. Somehow I Two million yen. Huh? Huh? Three million left to go then. If you ten days from now, we can carry out the procedure. I maybe we don't need to deserves to be at peace. You said it yourself. After all this time, don't you want that for him? No, please. I want Dad to have peace. But does it have to be? The 
It's true, but you shouldn't cheap out. After all... <laughs> don't you see the need for that? That's what you're paying us for. Oh, okay. It's just my father's... Oh? <laughs> First timer, huh? Give him money. And it was two million. Nothing to sneeze at. You think Nano Hassan's wrapped up in something bad? Like what? I don't know. We just have to ask her and find out. Oh, hey! Ow! Uh, uh, sorry. Hey, old man! Apologies don't fix much, you know. Yeah. So you How are you gonna make this right? <laughs> it's got a broken bone. Oh god. Come on, not this shit. Sorry, we're in a hurry. If you don't got time to do the right thing, get Come up and walk. And hand us a couple grand. Leave us alone, man. See ya. Not so fast! Come on. You really want to do this? Sujimons. Uh, God. Okay. Mega swing. Miss the girl and Suchimons, three more. Nice. Damn it. Get out of here. Bad timing, and Anoha disappeared. Of course. What should we do? Head back to the subland. Yo. Nothing to report. Oh. You see, that's the cop. The head of whatever. Yeah. Surgeon, protection, um, foster home. What is she paying for? 
Oh, he's not the... He's not the police guy. So what we're paying for? So what is this? Translate. A social welfare corporation? Welfare? Sounds like an old folks home. Pretty classy building, huh? It's from the Meiji era, as I recall. It used to be a bank. But I thought some non-profit foundation bought it decades ago. Sure looks luxurious for a non-profit. I can smell the money from out here. Okay, so we know Nanoha's been working at the Soapland to pay for her dad's care, right? Yeah, so maybe this is where he's being taken care of. And also, maybe that man she met at the cafe is employed here. And then it would all make sense. She's paying that guy to keep her dad in a nice place. That's hardly shady. I don't care how classy the joint is. Nobody would pay two mil in cash. Plus, why would she pay her dad's rent at a cafe? Yeah, that's a good point. Remember what they said when we eavesdropped? She begged to see her dad, and it didn't move him at all. He just said no. Yes, this is the front desk of Sunlight Castle. Uh, is there a man living here with a daughter named Nanoha? Do you mean Nanoha Mokoda? Yes, her father is a resident here. How may I help you? We work with Nanoha at the same place of business. Can we come in? I'm sorry, but only family are allowed to visit. That was predictable. We're not here to see him, actually. Truth is, I'm looking for a home for my own father. Nanoha-san said your facility is great, so... I wanted to check it out. I'm terribly sorry. You can't come inside unless accompanied by a current lessee. Really? Yes. If you wish to explore the layouts of our rooms, please visit our homepage online. You can submit questions on that page as well. It's very convenient. Goodbye. They don't even let you tour a room? Something's definitely shady about this place. Uh, yes, a little bit shady. So we got thugs there. And we need to go back to... Yeah. to go. Oh, is this a... Uh, excuse an me! Activity? Huh? Excuse Would me. Would you tell me how to get to the station? Why uh, you speak like that? <laughs> Would you tell me how to get to the station? Uh, oh soup story shit. number 10. It's English. <laughs> uh, I will reply with my <laughs> limited English. Don't worry. What? That didn't do it, huh? Okay, let's okay. see. Let's see. Looks like someone needs to brush up on their English. Huh? Ugh. Can you tell me how to get to the station? Go straight and turn right. Go, go, go. Go your way. And believe in yourself. <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Oh, guess God. that English certificate really paid off. Yeah, I guess so. My English sucks ass. <laughs> what can I say? If you can't handle English at that level, 
How do you expect to survive the effects of globalization? Can you repeat that? <laughs> I'm saying you need an international mindset. Haven't you ever wanted to work overseas, broaden your horizons? To do that, you need to study. So I started going here. Oh, this is a school? Ouna Bara Vocational, huh? Yep, been going here a while now. And guess how many certs I've racked up? Fifty! Fifty? For real? That's crazy! I have, like... You gotta change that, man! Now's the time to build yourself as an individual. If you're the only one without <laughs> certifiable skills... Okay. Hey, I know! Why don't you sign up for a free trial? What, for vocational ed? Yeah, for a limited time only, they offer the first lesson free. Might as well give it a shot. I mean, okay. you do want to develop your personality. Well, when you put it that way, sure. Great! Then let's get you signed up right away. Uh, okay. Okay. Training personality. Huh. So this is a vocational school. First time being in one. Yep, it's one of the best in the industry, too. Anyway, the front desk's right over here. Mm. Oh, hello, Ikari-san. Uh, hey there, Miyakoshi-san. Pretty nice weather, huh? I mean, not like it affects us in your... who did you bring along? Oh, right. He's a buddy of mine. Said he wanted to do a free trial. And, of course, I was the one who invited him. <laughs> so that's what this is. You just brought me here so you could impress a girl, you sly duck. Oh, wow. Thanks for the referral, Ikari-san. Uh, it was nothing. It's not like I was up all night thinking what favors I could do to impress you or anything. <laughs> so my name's Miyakoshi, and I'm the school receptionist. It's very nice to meet you. I'm Ichiban Kasuga. And the pleasure's all mine. Kasuga-san. Noted. Okay. Well, why don't I give you the rundown on how we do things here? Better clean the wax out of those ears. Miyakoshi-san okay. is lending us her precious time. So don't go spacing out. You're not helping. So what we aim to do is provide certified training for all kinds of job seekers and hobbyists alike. Okay. And just so you know, our pass rate is second to none. We are here to help passionate people find their footing. And that's why, here at Onabara, knowledge is yours to own. Whoa, so you guys are number one in the business? That's awesome! We certainly do our best. And while we do want you to pass your exam and get your certificate, there is more to it than that. What we emphasize here is gaining life experience. You know, personality development. Getting a grasp on who you are is the crux of higher learning. After all, what's the point of earning a piece of paper if you can't apply what you've learned? Well said, Miyakoshi-san. Poetry to the ears. Can you just be quiet? Anyway, I think I got the gist of it. I'm actually more interested in that personality development part. If... Excellent. Then I'll put you down for a trial lesson. Let me know whenever you're ready, and we'll go ahead and start your lesson. You got it. Uh... Not right now. Are you ready to start your trial lesson? Uh... I'm gonna regret this, but yes. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. Perfect. Right this way. Personality. The facility is all about developing one personality. Passing exams will improve different facets of Katsuga personality. After the free trial exam, you will have to pay. Which oh. exam would you like to take? Sports Tiers 2? Exam for free passing mark three out of five answers. Oh, which is this one? Passion and charisma, passion, lifeless, and charisma repulsive. Oh, yeah, I guess. Let's do this. Uh, sports tier two. Make sure you have a pencil. <laughs> Jesus. Three out of five. Come on. The triathlon is complete. Oh, by time. The triathlon is completed by consecutive or coming three different events. While completing for the fast race, which of the following events is not part of the three? What? Uh, cross country. 
In bowling, what are the 10 objects that you must knock down by the bowling ball in order to score points? The pins! <sighs> Soccer is a team sport in which competing teams aim to score points by kicking a ball in the opposite team goals. With the exception of the goalie, touching the ball with one's hands and arms is considered a fall. What is particular false call? What? Uh, hundred. <sighs> And marathon is a track and field event requires a radius of 42 kilometers, which is the following event that become the origin of for that distance. Oh, uh, Hannibal crossing the Alps? Nope. Battle run? No. Invasion run? Oh, oh Jesus! Uh, thermal hull? Yes. Yeah. Golf is played on course in which the golfer goals is hit the ball into the hole if you strike possible. Each course has a preset stroke count to the golfer's spectrum. Reaching the hole, the exact number of preset strokes is called par. All doing so, one birdie. What's the term for the hole with a reach three and the par? Stroke below par. Uh, one, two, three. Albatross. Or oh, eagle. Eagle. Albatross. Ah! It was an eagle. Did we pass? Yes! We did! You're the man! You're the man! You're the man! <laughs> Jeez. It was an eagle at the end. Yeah. Was was right. Was the pins handling the Battle of Marathon. Ah, for sure. Albatross, yes, I was right. Because three, two is called, yep, two is an eagle, and four is a condor, okay. Eh. We pass, that's it, that's what it matters. That should just about wrap it up. Thanks for trying us out. Whew. Not bad for your first time. But long this guy never shuts up, does he? What did you think of your lesson, Kasuga-san? I can say with confidence, I've never studied... It was kind of nice being in a classroom again, too. I think I got a lot out of that. I'm so glad to hear that. Each program here is dedicated to helping you become the person you've always wanted to be. That said, would you be interested in full enrollment? It's free to enroll, of course. You only have to pay per class. Basically, it's a certificate Okay. Fee. So what have you got to lose? Besides... You can trust me, Akoshi san Okay, you made your point. But I am curious which aspects of myself could use some fine tuning. That's a good attitude to have. Sky's the limit, you know? Katsu guys now enrolled. Please Additional let me know when you found a course that interests you. Available. Sure. But once I figure out where to start. I gotta say, there's a lot to choose from. Any advice for a newbie? I suppose some guidance would be in order. <laughs> then allow me, master of 50 plus certificates, to be your faithful guide. You? Oh, looks like we found ourselves the perfect volunteer. You sure you want to handle this, Ikari? -san? By all means. If it puts a smile on your face, oh, then leave God. old shrub head to me. I'll show him the ropes. You really have no filter, do you? Well, by this point, Ikari-san has the most insight out of all the students here. Though he can be a bit of a handful. You could say that again. But hey, I'm determined. You hear that? I'm counting on you, senpai. <laughs> then I shall illumine your path. How about that, Mikoshi-san? I'm smart and... Uh, if you say so. Anyway, Kasuga-san, welcome to no the start in the of guy. your future. Done. Soup story number 10. Um, and we open that. Vocational school specializes in improving personality by passing exams and obtaining licenses. Katsuga can significantly improve in personality parameters with regard to pay the exam fee. All right. I'm good. Can I help you? Come back when you're ready. Ready for what? Anyhow, we need 
to continue what we were doing. Sujimons. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's awesome. The story is awesome. It's well told and with a lot of details and Japanese comedy. Sujimon! Ow! Ow! Pyro! Yeah. it all together! Halfway, come on. Sujimon. And we're in bad shape. Uh oh. Can we? Uh oh. Uh, we need that heart. Very, very bad. I don't think we're gonna survive a couple of encounters. Oh, they're behind us as well. So we have to fight these ones. Or not. Fresh. Whoa. Ready. What do you want? We can go this way. Oof, we needed it. 
Okay, that's that. Thank you. Now we're going this way. So far, so good. Oh, there are stories per section. Oh, God. Oh, that's the sodomy thing. <laughs> Do we have a Venting machine? Nope. Oh, we passed. That's the the guy who wants to. Please take this? one. Oh, this is the. <laughs> okay, soup story. Number five: A trip to Pound Town. Got there. Who knows? An ad for a sex shop or something. <laughs> Nothing a couple of. Oh, 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 oh. Hold the phone. It says the first person to call gets free service. What? That sounds way too good to be true. Yeah, well, uh, we won't know until we call. Take it from the guy born out of soap land. Hey, now, things might have changed while you were locked up. Give it here. You're a try. No, hold on. First person to call. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. How can I help you? Yeah, I uh, saw your ad. Said something about the first caller being free. Oh, yes! Thank you! You are the very first, <laughs> so this one is indeed on us. <laughs> All right! And, oh, uh, God. You're, you're sure it won't cost anything? Nope, nothing at all. Now may I please have your name and current location? Oh, right. It's uh, Koichi Adachi, and right now I'm kind of near Ohama Street. Oh. And that place can be quite dangerous, too. Understood. I'll send over our most popular employee right away. Ooh, your most popular? <laughs> oh, you guys really go all out for this first free <laughs> collar thing, huh? We want you to know how great we are. Now then, we have them en route to your location. Huh? Well, you're sending someone to me? Like, not a hotel. So, how'd it go? <laughs> Get this. They're sending their most popular girl over here. For no, free. they said well, employee. Really? No, really, I swear. Look, sex shops will do anything to stay com Sorry for the wait. Huh? Suchimon. Oh, what the? Who the heck are you? Are you, uh, Adaki Sama? Uh, yeah, that's me. Sorry for the wait. I'm Gary Buster Holmes from Poundmates. <laughs> Poundmates? Is is that a sex shop? <laughs> no, no. Poundmates sends people to help you fight. Help us fight? Hey! You shitheads are making way too much noise! That's it. I'm gonna shut you guys up. Oh! A handy group of punks. Just in time for your first call. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but let's go, Kasuga. Yeah. You're going Such down. Down. Cool. Uh, Palmwinds are powerful allies with a wide range of abilities, but calling them in costs money. The price depends on the palmate, although your first call to each palmate is free. So, okay, so we got weak. Oh, who do I call? Mates. Confirm. All three, please. Time to call a friend! I summon you! The bomb may have sudden death or sudden service. 
with a Thanks for calling pound me. That's really helpful. Holy shit! They're too strong. Now, for the finish. Sudden death or suds on breasts? What's it gonna be? <laughs> We're sorry! Your free trial is over. Next time will cost money. Looking forward to it. Yeah, sure. Did okay, have then. Up? Goodbye. What just happened here? Fuck if I know. Man, why's it gotta be so hard to get laid? Hound mates, huh? Well, it ain't free, and I'm not sure it's sexy, but I think I can see the appeal. It's another sub story done. Now we have access to palm mates, I think, in the in our smartphone. So, bath how it is. charge 5 million yen just to start a lease and then it's 500k every month even on soapland wages how the hell can she afford that and take a look at this they've got a program called the excellent course entry fee 20 million then a million a month what in the actual fuck yeah, i hope that's one good vip room mm -hmm. Don't tell me her dad's enrolled in the excellent course. I can't imagine he is. Oh, <laughs> I could see Nanoha signing him up for the most expensive option. She'd totally do that. Her father is the only family she has. He's the reason she got a job at a big corporation. And he's the reason she works for me now. He raised her all by himself. He means everything to her. It doesn't surprise me at all that she'd pay any price to keep him comfortable. I mean, I knew she put him somewhere expensive, but this is just crazy. No matter how much you love someone, you've got to set some boundaries. I'm starting to think this was never about a guy she was dating. You wanted us to investigate her because you were worried about her. Am I right? Yes, I was worried. I worry about all my employees. But once they clock out, I can't help them. And I hate that. Especially the girls who have such troubled pasts. You never know if they're doing okay or not. That's why I'm strict about how much time they take off. I worry. So you have a good reason to keep them working so much. And here I thought you were just a huge asshole. <laughs> I guess you can stop your investigation now. She might be putting herself in danger. But if she's doing it for her dad, I really have no right to interfere. In any case, I don't think she's seeing anyone on the side. No? I mean, when we saw her today, she looked miserable. She was definitely telling you the truth when she said she wasn't feeling good. My guess is she's suffering from a ton of stress. From work? Oh, I think it's something else. Nanoha is her father's guarantor. I'm sure of that. It doesn't make any sense that she wouldn't be allowed to see him. And you guys saw her pay two million to a rep from the home? Maybe that wasn't the entire bill. Maybe 
She still owes them money. And until she pays, they won't let her see her dad. That's fucked up. Yeah, but it might be true. Nationwide, more than one out of every five people is elderly. And there are lots of crooked businesses trying to cash in on that. And even if an establishment looks legit on the surface, you never know what might be lurking underneath. I think I know what happened. They accepted her dad, told her she could pay the entry fee in installments. And then once he moved in, they wouldn't let her see him until she paid it off in full. Why pull that shit? Just to get her to pay it off quicker. They don't care what she has to do to earn it. They just want their money as soon as possible. That's just... so cruel. Plenty of bastards in the world who do it without a second thought. No wonder her health is bad. Who could deal with that kind of pressure? And by taking time off, she'll lose income. She'll end up being late on her payments. Damn. At that rate, she'll never get to see her dad. Nope. And there's another thing that could happen that's even worse. What's that? Well, depending on what the contract says, if she misses a payment, they could kick her dad out and not return any of her money. After she's been working herself to the bone just to pay them? And honestly, who the hell knows if they're really providing good care in that place? Hardly anyone's allowed inside, so there's no oversight. That sounds to me like they can do whatever they damn well please. Even to the residents who are paid up. I don't understand how they get away with this shit. Please! None of us needs to understand it. All that matters is saving Nanoha's dad. Boss, we can't save him. There's no way. Sure, we all want to, but... I mean, they won't even let the guy's own daughter in. The place is pretty much on lockdown. I just don't see a way around that. I think I see a way around it. What? Boss, you okay with us working a second job? Uh... Huh? The three of us could work at Sunlight Castle for a bit. You want to infiltrate the place by getting jobs there? How do we get them to hire us? Well, we're sort of buddies with that guy Kambe over at Hello Work. Let's get him to help us. Yes! It's a great idea. I'll call Kanbe and make it happen. I think we can do this! We can save Nanoha's father! Okay. Now, who are you? Hand it over already. Hmm? What's going on? I'm saying hand over the baby formula. You what? looking to lose some teeth? No, please. <laughs> My baby's waiting for me. <laughs> like I give a shit. Just buy the little snot more. We need that formula right now. This, this is absurd. Why would the Yakuza need baby formula? They're shaking the guy down for baby formula. Another soup story. I don't know what the hell's going on here, but it looks like he might need some help. All right. Guess I'll give him a hand. Hey. Not sure what the deal is over here? That formula's his, right? Huh? Who the hell are you? You his buddy or something? Nah, never met the guy. Just passing through. Someone's always gotta poke their nose into this shit. Okay, fine! We'll take it by force! Sujimon. Yeah. Oh, level 13. Pyro. What's this? Yep. Sub story done. Yo. Hi. Uh, 
ありがとうございます。Softy. I know this place is in Japan, and they're not they're not about babies. Oh. Well, they truly are, actually. But no, really, really babies. So it, it's weird. So there are. Something. I think we're done with that. What's that? Something bluish. Thinking that we need to talk to somebody there. It's not there. And figure out if it is something with the water. So why in here there is a blue kind of mark? What can I get for you? Oh. Uh, order and recommendations, select from menu, coffee, mocha, tea. Uh, yeah, I confirm the order. 
Who's hungry? Me. Ah, tasty. Nothing to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was not the guy that we wanted to talk to. Probably this one. Yes, hot water for that baby. Maybe can I ask some? Sup? Thank you very much. Here's your hot water. If, if, if it is what I think it is, it's for a laugh. Okay, let's deliver hot water for babies and milk and baby formula. And yeah, I heard about these places. And we're gonna see one apparently. Where they care about babies. Did you get the whole water? Yeah. Yes. I got it right here. Hot water and towels. Perfect. Let's go. Hey, are you alright? Is there anything we can do to. Huh? And I was right. <laughs> By the way, these places actually exist in Japan. Where grown-ups actually behave like babies just to be with <laughs> nurses. Uh the fuckers with the baby formula. What the hell? Oh. Uh and yeah, they charge you sixteen dollars and eighteen dollars for Sorry to the amount of time. Uh, yo, let's go. Uh, yes, you dress up with nappies and everything, so it's not so bad, chief. <laughs> and they treat you, you got like balls babies. Stepping into my big comfy crib, <laughs> you can waltz in here and spoil our fun. Oh God. Come on, sure. Boys. Let's pacify this, sir. Let's pacify, <laughs> sir. Let's bring it on. Sujimon. Okay. Uh, okay. So final on that one, please. Then you. I know that the mega swing works. about to get knocked out. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, oh, 20. I thought I was a goner. We will recover the guy. <laughs> Not bad. A apologies for barging in here, but this this is all just a huge misunderstanding. Huh? I'm listening. Well, actually. I get it. You thought my crying was from a real baby. Yes, we're really sorry for ruining your uh, fun. No, no, I wasn't aware. I'm the one who's sorry. Huh? These days, a crying baby's more likely to get scowls than anything else. You think you'd do that for a baby you don't even know? <laughs> Ichiban Kasuga. Uh, Masato Oshima. I see. Fine names, both of you. My name's Susumu Gondawara. Seems my men troubled you for some baby formula. Boys, get these two some new baby formula on the double. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, Patrice. well, we're actually quite all right on the baby formula. Please, no, no need to trouble yourselves. I step out of the house for a quick errand and I'm gone for an eternity. My wife's gonna kill me. Oh, come on. You'll just be a little late. <laughs> old lady that mm, no she's just been a little strange i've been working my butt off for the sake of our child but all she does is nag at me masato chan do you understand how hard it is to raise a kid have you ever bothered to help your wife even just a little what <laughs> like just holding a baby's a lot of work you have to support their neck until they can keep their head up on their own babies are weak delicate creatures very fragile you can't blame your wife for being a little stressed out. Huh. Okay. That's right. Saya-chan's telling the truth. When us babies get our milk, we gotta burp. So we need a little back pat. <laughs> As I'll... Now that you mention it, she is always doing those things. When they start crying in the middle of the night, I have no clue why, nor do I know how to stop it. Hey, it's our job to cry. Doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night. We'll cry when we feel like it. I see. And here I was, jealous of how she got to sleep while I was out working all Your wife probably hasn't had a decent night's sleep since the little one came into the picture, you know? And even if she does get a sec to rest, you never know when she's gonna have to get back up. Sounds pretty friggin' exhausting. Oh. Masato-chan, you should sit down and talk with your wife. I'm sure it's hard for both of you, but your relationship's probably strained right now because neither of you have taken the time to hear each other out. You're right. I guess at some point I started to think I was the one having the tougher time. But I never thought about how my wife was feeling. I'm gonna talk to my wife when I get home. I'll make sure we raise our kid right. I'm a father after all. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Just don't try to do everything yourself. Family's gotta support one another. Go on. Hurry back to your wife and make things right. You got this baby's approval, so I'm sure you'll do just fine. Thank you. Well, I'll be going now. <laughs> Best of luck. Well, all's well that ends well, I guess. You bet. Boss, sorry we're late. We bought the formula. Ooh. Well then. Why don't we drink to the man who became a proper father? Join us, why don't you? Huh? Me? That's right. No need to be shy. Uh... Sure. Sure. What the hell? Yeah, baby. That's God's work right there. What do you think? Good shit, ain't it? Ugh. Yeah, ain't half bad. Right, right. Boys, two more baby bottles. Room temp. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> now, 
Let's say we enjoy this second bottle good and proper. Huh? Boys, get this man a diaper. What? Yes, sir. Yo, hold up. I didn't say shit about wearing a... Hey, what the hell, man? Let me go! Yo, if you don't cut it out, I'll... Oh. <laughs> Palmates. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, that's funny. So another one. <laughs> yeah, and that's probably <laughs> it's gonna be the chapter of today. <laughs> oh god. Um yeah, chapter number seven, the diaper guy, the pound master or pound mate or something like that. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna check it out um, our main story, and we're gonna continue with the story in the next one, with the main one. Probably I'm gonna go there because I need to actually reposition our health, and then we're gonna continue in the next one. So I hope you like it. If you do so, you know what to do. Just let me know in the comments below, and if you want to do more sub stories or. I just focus on the main story, but if you everything okay, um, nothing to see here, and yeah, so I hope you see you in the next one. So uh, subscribe to the channel, support, give some love, and yeah, see you then. Cheers, bye. -bye.